Hi guys, this is Gabor here. Welcome to Bavaria in HO scale. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to put in your own LED interior lighting into your buildings. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the building that I put together the other day. I'm gonna show you the cover. So, Polar, it's a freight shed. And <clears throat> the base of the building has like a round hole in it for your light socket I don't really like that option because if the light bulb is sticking out of the floor or the ground I mean that's just gonna be visible because this building has two doors on it that you can slide open and that's that wouldn't look good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the roof so the whole roof is glued together but not glued to the building so we can just remove it you always get access to your lighting and we're gonna kind of hide the lighting so that's what you're gonna do but I think this is gonna be a two-part video and I'll show you guys why okay so you guys see that lampshade right there that's just a plastic mold right so that doesn't lit up but I'm also gonna make that work make that lit up so that's gonna be my second video right after this one okay <clears throat> so the first piece that you're gonna need is a plastic i-beam comes in this bag and it's made by Plastruct and let's see what it say 7 7 16th uh, or 11.1 millimeter five pieces and the uh, order number is 90519 and again it's made by Plastruct and you're gonna need one of these and you have to cut it to size and yeah that's what we're gonna do next okay so the first thing we have to do is cut this to size which I already did and then you're just gonna take off the burr a little bit on both sides from the end Grab a small file, just running through everywhere. Okay, so this piece of I beam is gonna go right in here on the top. And as you can see, it's a perfect fit, it's snug, but it's not too big. So, <clears throat> the next thing we're gonna need is this. What this is is LED lighting strip it comes in a spool like this I believe this is five meters and this one I think I got it on probably Amazon either that or eBay one or the other but first I was looking at these at electronic stores they were selling a spool like this for two hundred dollar and I think I got it for like not even 20 bucks on Amazon okay so as you can see you got two soldering points one right here the other one right here and this is your minus this is your plus and then you got a LED a resistor LED LED and then another two soldering point and then as you can see it starts with another two soldering point and then again LED resistor LED another LED and then you got two more soldering points so basically after every three LED after between the soldering points you can cut it right there so for this I-beam that we're using I'm gonna, you can see that I'm gonna be able to cut it right here and then we're gonna be basically using nine LEDs on this strip and it's got a 3M tape on the back side of it. You just take that one off, glue it to the I beam, and then well, first we gotta solder a couple of wires on it. That's pretty good. Now with the two solder 
basically it looks like that. So yeah, I'm using the brown and the yellow one. These are the two wires I'm using. Let's take off the coating. Now from one end, the end that you're gonna solder to this LED strip, you just wanna take off a little bit of coating, like maybe a couple of millimeter, no more than that. So that's one. From the other end, you can take off a little bit more. <clears throat> That seems to be holding good. The other one. Good the flux. I think we got it. I'm going to pull on it a little bit just to make sure that it's a good solder. But this is what they look like. So okay, so we got this part done. <clears throat> now we're gonna get this I beam and take off the 3M tape on the back of the LED strip should just peel off. And I'll just put it right in here. And just place it in the middle. And press down on it. Make sure it's stuck to it. Okay, so it's in there. And then you're gonna glue this into the building, of course, upside down. You're gonna drill a hole into the building, in the bottom, for the two wires. And we're done. So, let's do the next step. I almost forgot something. See, guys, how bright this is? This, this is way too bright. Like these little resistors that are mounted on this uh, strip lighting. It's just way too bright, and uh, for that small building that you're gonna put this in, this is too bright, so we have to dim the lights. So that's gonna be our next step, and we have to solder on resistor, and uh, yeah, that should do the trick. So it depends how much brightness you want in that building, you gotta put on the right kind of resistor. So I got a selection of starting from 50 ohm, 75, 100. And it goes up all the way to 10k and I got this awesome friend in Calgary who built this for me and all this is is you got the same, same value the resistors inside the rotary switch in this box and as you can see you got the lights already you know, hooked up to it dim the lights a little bit in the basement here so we get a better effect so at 50 ohm this is where we are at and this is the brightest and then 75, 100, 200, 330, 510, 750, it's 1.2K, 2.4, 4.7, 7.5, and 10K. And you guys can see the difference. So with this, you can select how much brightness you want. And then you just pick the right kind of resistor and just solder that one into your this lighting strip that we just built and then you're ready to glue it into the building and you're done so let's do the next step so I chose a 2.4k resistor that's this guy here and I cut one end a little bit shorter I'm gonna put that in this third hand I call it comes really handy and what you need is also one of these heat shrink tubing just enough that it will slide over the wire 
you're gonna cut off a short piece maybe a centimeter or so and you're gonna slide it over the one wire and put on a little bit of flux on the wire as well as on the resistor don't need much and, uh, let's see yeah seems to be good so now I'm gonna slide this heat shrink tubing right over the soldered piece there and I'm just gonna use my soldering iron just heat it up this way and it's gonna melt well not melt but it's gonna shrink that should be good Okay, so this is what it looks like. Actually, I need just a little bit more. Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna put this in the building, glue it in there, and oh yeah, first we're gonna drill a hole. So let's do that. So you see where that toothpick is sticking out of the floor? That's where I drilled a little tiny hole, just a pilot hole. I'm gonna take it out now. And now we're gonna make a little bigger hole because we gotta feed both wires and the one wire has the resistor on it so they gotta fit through so now we're gonna drill a bigger hole in there. Okay so I got the bigger hole drilled in there as you can see I got both wires fed through and what else I did is I say I cut out a little bit from the side of this uh, I-beam so I can move both wires to the side and I hot glued it to the side basically so even if you accidentally you know yank on the wire or something you're not gonna yank it out of the solder I mean it shouldn't happen if it's a good solder but this way you're safe so now we just gotta glue it in place and you see that black line starting from the top here so I gotta feed the wire sideways and then down because the window you know it's in the way so you don't wanna feed the wires right in front of the window, that would look ugly. You gotta hide the wire as much as possible. So this is what it looks like after I glued it in place. And as you can see, the wires are to the side, hot glued to the side, so they're not gonna go anywhere. And I'll be ready for installing it on the layout. Okay, so the building is installed. I wired it up. I'm pretty happy with the lighting it's not too bright i hope you guys like this video and if you got any questions just leave a comment i'll get back to you guys and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you get the automatic notification and please share it on your social media that would be appreciated thanks for watching take care See you guys next time.